In this tutorial, you will learn how to set a face rig with Rigify. Uh, this is our head mesh, and in this example, we have eyes as separate objects. Our model looks like this, and we're going to see how it looks rendered. So let's uncheck our camera, see the mesh. and the rendered. We want to add a rig and we'll see how we can change our face with it. We don't have any modifiers and our scale is 1. World origin is our origin and that's our cursor right now. And first under edit preferences you have to enable rigify. We want to add meta rig so we're going to do shift A armature and human meta rig. You can see it's the whole body and we're going to delete the parts we don't need. Make sure not to move model from the middle. So we're going to scale this and set origin to the cursor or world origin. Adjust roughly, we are going to adjust every bone too. You can go to the side view and adjust it also. Under viewport, you can uh, select in front so you can see better. And now you need to move the bones. We are going from the side and moving bones for the tongue and teeth. We're going to select them and move them and just check from the front view if everything is in the middle and age to hide it. And when you're moving joints, make sure not to disconnect anything. You want your joints to be on the skin, like half in, half out and you can use snap to the face. Just adjust one by one. For the ears, we're going to select part and press L to select a length and move them. And make sure to have your X mirror on so it mirrors on the other side. You are going to do scale, position, grab joints and snap them to the face. So use box select or C. So this is bone positioning. So you can follow this part if you don't know how to position these bones. You can see how we're going to position ears, joints, mouth, our temple, eyes, and you can see teeth and tongue bones. So just position one by one. From the front view, select the jaw bones, joints, and move them. Snap them to the face. I'll undo this and snap that. Okay, for this joint, make sure to use box select or press C to select all and move it and snap it. Just go one by one and position them. You can go to the side view and hide the bones you don't want to work right now so you can see better. Now we're going to position our forehead 
and you can just click on them and snap them because these joints are not connected to any other but be careful with these ones so again we're just grabbing and snapping be careful let me show you something okay be careful not to do this so for the middle part it's better to go from the side so move the three and move them that way you are not interfering with x-axis because they have to be in the middle we're going one by one this is going to the and this above the lip now for the left the same box select and move them let's do leads right now select one L to select the length move them and position one by one by snapping to the face so control it's going to snap we are going to do the same thing for this eye part and this bone for this bone just move it right now we are going to work on this later make sure not to disconnect anything so grabbing and moving use box select Okay, and hide. Let's work on this bone. Select these, move them from the side, and we want to move this to the skin. That's it. Now we are working on the eyes, so go to the edit mode. We're going to select these two and move cursor to select it if you have a loop in the middle just select one loop or two vertices from the side now you want to select bones go to the edit mode and selection to cursor front joint move to the edge of the eye but make sure it's constrained by y-axis something like this now you can generate your rig let's do generate rig select your mesh right now then your rig so mesh then rig and do control P with automatic weights now you can check by selecting pose mode and your mesh should be deforming along you can hide your meta rig also okay check your mirror mode and if everything is okay but when you are moving your eyes it's just gonna move uh, skin around because we need to fix that uh, hide your head mesh and select rig and go to this layer okay now select eye and a rig and go to the pose mode you need to select this bone that's going ahead like straight ahead control P and bone and do the same thing for the other eye select all go to the pose mode select this bone control P 
and bone. Okay, now you can unhide your mesh and we can hide our matter rig and we want to show our layers now and uncheck this one. Now you want to go to the pose mode and check your eyes. Okay, it's working. You can see from the render